Hi, James Benton, LBG Aviation's Customer Training Services. Today I'd like to take a couple minutes to look at preservation procedures on the GENX product lines. This will apply to both the 1B and 2B engine models. For the 30-day preservation procedure on wing, a very easy procedure. Uh, what's going to be required is for us to operate the engine at ground idle for 15 minutes. Uh, that's going to boil off any additional moisture that may have accumulated in the engine. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and shut down the engine. And then we'll want to go ahead and install the inlet, exhaust, and the fan discharge port exhaust covers. So please take a couple minutes to watch this video. Again, this is going to cover the 30 and 90 day preservation techniques uh, for both the GENX 1B and 2B. Okay, we took a look at the 30 day preservation procedures, which are pretty simplistic. Uh, I do want to take a look at the additional steps for the 90 day procedure. Uh, first things first, before we operate the engine, we do want to go ahead and put Braco preservation oil into the oil tank. You can reference the AMM for the correct quantities. And then we want to go ahead and run the engine at ground idle for 15 minutes. On the GEN X2B, if you're not able to actually start the engine, you can dry motor. Um, it is not as effective, but it is uh, acceptable for this preservation technique. Um, once we've done the ground idle operation and we're ready to get into the actual engine, first thing we need to do is for all of our bleed air deflector panels, we want to go ahead and tape them off like you see here, okay, just to prevent any fog from falling into them. So we want to do that 360 degrees all the way around the engine. Okay, once you've knocked out the bleed air deflector panels, next step is to come to the bifurcation. Um, to where we have our drain mast at, and we want to go ahead and tape off those orifices as well, uh, just to make sure we don't get any contaminants up on the inside. So once that's done, you can move to the tail of the engine. Okay, over here on the back side of the engine, um, by the TRF, you'll see your overboard cavity drain mast. We want to go ahead and tape that off as well, okay? Make sure nothing gets up in there. Um, and then as far as prepping the engine for preservation, you are now complete. We can go ahead and close up the nacelles and there are a couple steps on the cells we need to address as well. Okay, here you can see an alternative method for covering the inlet of the GENX product line. The main reason for this is to avoid damaging the lip skin of the inlet. So you can see to the left, Collins Aerospace provides some do's and don'ts. Just follow the do's and don'ts procedures to properly preserve the engine from the inlet side. Okay, you can see here um, we're using the GENX 2B thrust reverser. We do not have a fan discharge um, exhaust duct plug for this product line. So what we've had to do is go ahead and use the same materials that we use for an alternate inlet covering. And we have covered the thrust reverser, okay, with a moisture resistant tape. Make sure we got a nice good seal. And we have blocked off the right hand side thrust reverser. Uh, exhaust duct to make sure nothing can enter, okay? So you just want to make sure everything's properly sealed and then you want to replicate on the left side of the th uh, engine as well. Okay, again, knowing that there are a few plugs out there for the exhaust system, uh, we can use the same type material we used for the thrust reverser and then making a fan inlet cover uh, for the exhaust system. You can see I've, I've completely wrapped the exhaust system, sealed it as best as possible, um, all the way back to the center vent tube extension. That'll keep any particulate matter, fod, birds, or anything that, from nesting inside the uh, low pressure turbine area. Okay, now that we've got the inlet, fan discharge exhaust, and uh, exhaust covered, there are a couple additional items on the nacelles that we need to take a look at. Uh, here you can see on the outboard side, we want to make sure we are covering up the oil tank access door, uh, any vent ports where we could get moisture or debris or any type of insects uh, inside the nacelle. And then moving to the inboard side, again, have a couple additional openings that we need to make sure we cover up, such as the EAI exhaust port. So again, any openings, we wanna go ahead and make sure those are covered, to prevent moisture and debris from getting inside the nacelle. And on the underside, where all of our thrust reverser and fan cowl latches are, where the access panels are, 
we want to go ahead and make sure that those get taped off as well. Um, this is going to prevent moisture from getting up into the cell. We don't want any nesting animals, and this will keep your engine preserved for 90 days. Okay, one last item I'd like to cover. If you are using desiccant bags due to humidity in your area, uh, a couple of things we want to address. Uh, we prefer that the bags be hung uh, on the engine inlet area and the engine exhaust area. Uh, if you cannot hang them, you can go ahead and place those on top of a, a moisture absorbent pad. We also want to make sure we're using the correct quantity of desiccant. You can reference the AMM for that. And when we place the desiccant bags in the inlet and exhaust areas, we want to make sure that they are easily accessed for inspection. All right, well, thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, this is going to wrap up our 30 and 90 day uh, preservation techniques for on wing. Uh, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at SeaTech. Uh, again, we want to thank you for everything you're doing in maintaining the GNX-powered fleet. Uh, until next time, thanks.